What the? What the? Oh no. This isn't good. Shut up. I forgot about that. I forgot about all this taint. Shovel, 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 shovel. Where's my shovel? Okay, okay. Gang, you out of the way. Uh, yeah, that was a very explosive way to do things. Note to self. Uh, taint needs a better storage house than this. Hello world! <laughs> way of time here, bringing to you another episode of EE e. Power. As you see, I've learned a very dangerous lesson that I really should have known beforehand. At least now I will be better prepared and make use of some of my uh, tainted knowledge, I think it is. Uh, one of these stupid things that is letting me have a better storage tank. Now, I don't have that storage tank with me right now, so I should probably research that. What is it? It's a reinforced tank. So I'm going to make some of those since I think I will need them to not be a complete Neanderthal when it comes to taint and all of its virtues. Now that was a bit of shock so let's go over here we got another research thing that I'm gonna show you later oh 79 percent chance I love that high of a percent now it's gonna also need glass I believe hopefully and let there be theory discovery. Let's check. Okay. I need thomming ingots and a storage tank to make one of these. Thankfully, I have one thomium ingot at my disposal. So I can make it pretty much right away to get rid of that. Then I can make the other stuff. Give me. Thank you. Thumbing ingot, thumbian ingot, ingot. Ugh, I can't believe I said that. Ingot. Got that. Got that. Now I need some vis. Vis, 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 vis. What's a good enough vis? Yes, I know. I'm stupid for using this, but what? Hey, hey ho, hey ho. That's not enough to go. Okay. That's going to keep on cooking, so I'll just, uh, yeah, why not, just get more and more and more in here so that I can finally get that stupid tank, because I don't want something like that to happen ever again, because thankfully it was only one thing, and I should have known that, honestly. I played around with this enough to realize that I can be stupid at a lot of times. Heck. Throw you in anyways. I'll have extras. Okay, now I got my tank. Throw that there. And now I can store all of my tainted goodness. <sighs> now, what really got me was the banging on the door by that zombie. I would never have seen that. The more you know. Ah, yes, I was also going to show you what I found in a Discovery. At least I think it is what I think. An occultic enchanter. Occultic enchanter. Mystify. Whoa! It takes a thaumatic enchanter, which I don't have. <coughs> Enchant with Vis is fine and well, but how can you trust this rare resource to the fickle whims of faith? Far better to entrust it to a sinister, disembodied brain floating in foul liquid. Beside, it whispers such wonderful secrets. So I need a thaumatic enchanter, which I don't have. Brain in the jar, I can get. 
an extract of Pure's magic, which I have no clue on how to get. La di da. Oh, look. Thank you. Okay, now let's see what we can do today. Okay, one of the first things I'm going to need to do is. Wow, what happened there? Is grab my sample of nickelite. Also, I'm going to need quite a bit of sand as well as some coal so a bit of gunpowder won't go amiss. I got this stewing up a bit and I think I have some sort of sample of redstones which I can... Wait, I've got coal there. Okay, so I'm going to need to make some of those uh, bools of silicon using this alloy furnace. And I'll take these books out here and convert a bunch of coal. Coal and sand for the remainder of that stuff. Thank you. Throw this in here, throw this in here. Convert you or get some sort of charcoal since charcoal is a lot more better than coal since it is not as compact compact or whatnot and charcoal go that's going to turn into a few silicon bulls and I'm going to need to get a few diamonds it looks like I'm pretty much running out of resources as of now so it's going to be really difficult to get all the resources that I will need if I continue to just do this stuff willy-nilly and whatnot and make use of stuff whatever uh, okay so I'll leave that stewing for a bit I'm going to need to get more diamonds which is a pain in the butt but I should also maybe start automatic crafting or getting some sort of, yeah, I'll get a room to get all of my endeavors of the reed kind. So the reed walls will go over here. Onwards. And it's getting dark. Ah, oh, darn, I'm outside. So that way will not be a good thing. Sigh, curse being not undergroundness. Not completely underground. No. Maybe this way. I'll find something, don't worry. Hold on to your horses. Ah, nah. Well, I found something. Okay, after surveying the land a bit, I decided not to do any sort of alteration down there. As in, I don't want to go over, way over there and run into an ocean that happens to be nearby. So, to save myself some semblance of sanity, what I'm going to do is dig down into another layer and start uh, digging a second layer. Eventually, what I want to do is to make some sort of elevator also, maybe on a wall like this. But that elevator is going to have to wait for me to make a few more areas to do some research and stuff. This room will be where all my queue table and whatnot for Thomcraft is going to reside. And maybe I'll have a shimmering leaf forest or something. And also deck this thing out in a lot more leaves than that since, hey, can't have too many leaves. Well, probably can, though that is another discussion entirely. Anyways, I think going forward and digging this hole will be a very fun endeavor. Okay, as you see, I have a bit more of an area excavated. I will add on to it later, but as of now, I'm going to have to be a bit more worried since, well, I got a few vis crystals around the place and I'm hoping and these are completely natural ones also and I'm hoping that I don't a run into them especially the ones that are here already 
and B don't run into any new ones because I don't think I will want that to happen. Now what I'll want to do though is to try to make a bud switch. This bud switch will be its purpose will be so that I will be able to sense when my blocks update. This will be for my read farm. So what I'm going to need to do is make a few torches. I'm not sure how many I'll need. And I'll also need some of this good wood to make a few pistons to test it out. And I got more than enough redstone to go around. Also, one repeater for my bud switch will be perfect if I actually get the correct configuration. And here we go. And now bud switches operate by when it senses an updated block, as you can tell, it changes it so that changes the state of the piston temporarily. This is temporary in the fact that it it's say the piston is supposed to be powered it only returns powered when it senses a block update and that doesn't happen all the time obviously so we put something like this here and I believe a few redstone torches and I'm going to probably be a complete nooblet at all of this since I am not entirely sure how the bud switch works so if you'll excuse my rudeness in the fact that it will take a bit of effort to get all of this working I should try to figure it out let's see you know what would also be a good idea to read a guide a guide would be very good maybe if I change this so that the pistons here so okay so when it changes when it detects an update in this it'll just push it out and whatnot and what I can do is connect this to another repeater so that its output will go directly ouch that was problematic okay so that's doesn't work either and that is problematic so this has to be here it obviously has to be powered diagonally or else it will not work so with that design in mind we should excavate a bit of a channel and a bit more of an area to really test this thing out so if we get a bit more using the gunpowder I have as fuel and if I have enough room we'll be able to excavate an area rebuild this piston assembly and stuff and maybe get things mining a bit more so what I'll want is like a wall of pistons so I'll need to make more pistons and it will let's see a wall of pistons lined up where sugarcane is supposed to be and it will all be powered like behind here with red alloy wires probably would be the best bet I'll need to get a bit of a plan also where will I want it and for some reason there seems to be a taint upswing when I stand here which is very odd oh yeah I'm kinda creating stuff up there so let's actually make the channel for where we're going to get all of those sugarcane we'll need some water here which is a simple task in comparison and all the sugarcane will come there but it will need to be from here grassy grassy that can't change huh, that's also interesting 
put those here and when I remove those I can make sugarcane there so we'll also need some sort of reference say this as a block updating reference point with all of the amenities that are required to check if the thing updates we'll need to have some cobble here a repeater here redstone up there meaning I'll need to take this stuff down and put in a more preferable location and this will need to actually be moved upwards by two blocks because we don't want to see when this grows we want to see when the top part updates so if we move all of this assembly up to it should be able to work and it looks like ah oh, darn it Eris crystal no why were you there it's kinda hard to you know get everything when I don't have any bloody room solving the world's issues one tiny step at a time okay Eris crystals also maybe I can create some more nodal places where that will be good or more trees actually trees would be a very good idea anyways what I was saying basically I need to detect when this part grows so I'll need to put the piston right there in the correct orientation obviously here then I'm going to need to have a torch here and that over here will go here I don't even know why I place these torches if I'm just gonna destroy everything we'll need to put a repeater here some more stuff here and finally that so if we put that repeater and our redstone we have a fully operational bud switch good that's good and then we can put pistons oops that's a problem Apparently that detects it. Okay, so I might need to move stuff slightly oriented this way perhaps and then it should be good. One moment. Okay. Now that seems to work. Everything's updated and whatnot. So now I'll need to get a bunch of red alloy wires to come due to a repeater or some other sort of process maybe like one repeater here so that it'll detect everything actually yeah yeah repeater here right here so that actually a repeater and a not gate because it'll need to be the opposite signal and it'll go on this this and it'll continually go around and onwards so when something grows it will be able to knock everything off of the area not too much issue only thing that will need to be an issue is I have to well, close that unsightly hole I'll need to go up here to go to my alloy furnace and make some of that red alloy stuff I don't have too much uh, stuff so let's get that out of the way ah crud get that and I'll make some more red alloy okay as you see I have quite a few red alloy wires nope that was very anticlimactic red alloy wires right here and quite a few pistons as well as a lot of sugarcane so if I go down my two levels I'll be able to plant some of these sugarcane as well as getting all of this set up 
these crystals. Woohoo! Now, if we can actually plant some stuff here, we can see that it will actually work. But the problem is, I do not have water right close enough to the system, so I will need to move it over slightly so that I can put my reference sample down. And a few sugar canes. Now I will just need to slightly go back here. Oh, thankfully I didn't break down that V's crystal. And then I'll place down a few more pistons. These pistons will need to be two for each of them, and eventually this automatic system should be better than when it's just alone. It will be a bit of a time before it, I see a great payoff from this. In fact, I might not ever see a complete 100% payoff, but it's fun. Actually, eventually I will get to that point, but it will be a while to get there. Now, if we do that, and let's use a Minecraft not gate to get this stuff rolling. Minecraft not gate, simple, effective, and a bloody pain in the butt. Okay, so what is the problem here? When I put, obviously, this whole thing sees block updates. So I'll need to get some sort of intermediate area like so and so so as not to cause a big pain in the behind. There we go. Though that might actually not work. <sighs> redstone, redstone, wherefore art thou redstone? Okay, now it's sensing that this is having a good old block update. So, maybe I'll need something like this, or... Hmm. One moment. Okay, for some reason it sends a block update a long ways away. I'm not sure why that is. And it only seems to be when I place a block here. So do I have to be a certain range away before it starts uh, being sane? Sneaky? Sneaky? Okay. I need to get something to go away over here then. And this should work. So now when I put my Minecraft not gate here, by doing that, should be able to sense a block update and send a singular pulse. It'll actually send two pulses, technically, but that's not too much of a bother. So bring you way over here which then needs to actually go like this because otherwise it won't work. Okay, now check. That is problem attic. <sighs> Sigh. So it's not going to be that easy, is it? Going to need to figure out some other way to cause that without having things set to a timer because if it's like that that means it could be a problem actually what I could do is move all of this stuff over and have this stuff not even bother hmm actually that could work I'll just need to wire it up and test a bit more, so it won't be perfect, of course. Can't really expect too much from it, so I 
we'll have to waste a bit uh, from all of the reference sample. So say all of this is grown and whatnot, and we have a nice stone layer down here. I'll get you in a minute. Don't worry. I won't forget you. So get it all that. This grows. Grows once more. All of it gets thrown. And I will need a bit longer of a delay, actually. Like that. So replace. Recheck. hum de dum de dum And sorry if there's some like odd issues with my recording today my arm is very sore so you might find me going ah ah or ah or stuff like that don't worry it won't be that creepy now that is more like it that is not bad at all Might need a bit longer of a delay, like 10, like a second long delay instead. But that will be like needing more repeaters or something. A stronger repeater there, maybe. I don't know. Red power repeater. Yes, that would be perfect. But it would need a bit more than that, and I should start getting everything else done. So I'll need a bunch more repeaters, and also a transposer would be very good. So get that. And maybe less bulkify it, and also get some sort of taint containment area in the area that I completely decimated one of my crystals. I can't remember where that is right now, so forgive me, but I should collect the remainder of these crystals and find a good place to maybe make another node. Also, make a bit bigger of a reed farm so that it can actually be preferable and have a long system working. That would be fun. Yeah. Hmm. Also, big work area. Doesn't go too wrong. But something that will go wrong is when I don't have a single lick of power. Even in here, I only have charcoal. I could use uranium. But is it seen as a power item in this eye? Nope. Speaking about uranium, you're mine, uranium, and onwards. Okay, since I am in such a high vis area, I decided that probably it would be a good idea to set a few more crystal nodes down so that I'll be able to harvest more crystals. This will be a big crystal area, and I actually think a floor-to-ceiling leaves area would be pretty good. So, I think the highest vis is around here. So, I'll put one of them there. Only a single node, for shame, and put those down. So, when they grow, because of the awesome vis that is in the air it will be able to give eventually a net increase when I harvest them. It will be slow, but like my other machine that I have down there, it will eventually be worthwhile, because these are also gaining in size. Though I'll probably want to... Hey, you should not be here. Who gave you access? This is a restricted area. Unauthorized personnel will be killed. Sorry, not many warnings. I kind of ran out of them. Did you see the zombie that tried to get in here? Ugh, you won't recognize them. Well, fact is, he wasn't really a zombie. He was kind of a dog. So, yeah. Mittens, you're safe now. However, all of this will be... Taken. 
mine, mine. And destroying floor. Awesome. Maybe I can find some more Vs crystals on this area. Like so. Seems to have a lot of this stuff on the ground in these areas. So maybe I can do that while I'm waiting for other stuff to occur. While I don't have any energy whatsoever. Though, fiery crystal. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be here all day. Unfortunately. Uh, sigh. That is the object of wonder. That is myself. Hmm. Okay, anyways. Deck that out in quite a few more leaves to s expedite the aura increase. I don't have too many leaves, so I will only be able to add like half another layer. But oh well. Maybe I'm doing something incredibly stupid right now, though yelling at the yelling at either the the screen right now or the comment section will not really change anything by the way just so you know i won't just say hey yeah you're right i was being a complete doofus there yeah i'll change that right now no it won't work so come on give me a break it doesn't cost anything. Maybe a bit of pride. Though you should have enough of that. Amen. Okay, I'll need more leaves. And more other stuff. Maybe increase the piston wall that's down here. A bit to account for all of this. And also a transposer connected to a chest. Which will go here. In fact, I think I have that stuff right now. Ha! Chest. Transposer. It's like I had that stuff there on purpose. Hint, hint. Hint. Hint, hint, hint. Hintify. No? No? No. Okay. Onwards. Okay, it looks like it works pretty well there seems to be some over spillage that can't really be helped but it is collecting them all in one central point eventually this should get a good net gain or something like that but it will probably take a while for such an occurrence to happen so if we just for demonstration purposes, put all of these on here, and we go over here, and throw one in. It collects them very haphazardly. I think it will still need a much longer delay than this to work, so maybe a repeater here. In fact, let me try that right now. A repeater here with some sort of long delay and if we try it again it should work out a bit better I'll try with just a bit over here cuz frankly it doesn't matter too much nah that's a problem it seems like it goes through the piston heads because of some sort of occurrence of the annoying kind so probably the best way to remedy this situation is to put these back and put a solid block instead and use sticky pistons though I'm not going to worry about that right now it's still getting a net gain in the end, even if it's like half the gain that it's supposed to be. Well, that's all for this episode of EE Power. Probably what I'm going to try to build next, if I am bored, is maybe an automatic mushroom farm. That might be a little more... Well, labor-intensive might be one of the words, but good for free time and stuff. Well, wave time, signing off.
Have a wonderful day. Gravel!